Hip-Hops is 1987.com. Yeah, great way to end the trip. I mean, three and two, uh, all things considered, losing KD. Um, it's a good trip. Um, you know, tough, uh, tough games, tough travel, and uh, down 15 early. Um, it was a great response. I thought our bench was tremendous. Um, did a great job getting us back in the game in the second quarter. Did you kind of win this one in that second quarter with you know Clark and Stan, Iguodala, West, and just a lot of your stars off the court? I mean, is that kind of where you won this game? Well, they kept us in it uh, for sure. I mean, down down 15, and then we I think we were within five at the half after all that, and, uh, and then we had a great third quarter. So, I think that was uh, the key stretch of the game was was the second quarter with uh, with our foul trouble. I thought Ian Clark came in and gave us huge minutes. Um, I think he made a three like two seconds after he came on the floor, which is not easy to do. Um, and Matt Barnes did a good job. Andre had a tremendous game. Um, Andre, by the way, has been absolutely phenomenal for the last couple of weeks. I mean, he just he just looks uh, so spry out there and young and confident and um, such a great basketball player. Makes the, the right decision at both ends of the floor just over and over and over again. And he's, to me, he's kind of the unsung hero on our team. Is, has the plan for him changed over the last 20 games with Durant out instead of maybe trying to save him a little bit now? He's probably going to play 30 tonight. Well, I mean, I'd like to keep his minutes down, but um, I think, you know, tonight he was about 33 and probably over 30 against. Um, New York uh, yesterday, um, but he's feeling great. He's in, in great shape. He takes really good care of his body, and uh, you know, as we go, we'll have to keep an eye on him. But he's in such a good groove. I don't mind playing in big minutes. Do you think part of him is going to embrace this? He jokes sometimes, but yeah, I still got it. And just yeah. being able to, he's going to have to show now how much he's still. Got. And he does. He's still got it. I, I told him during the game. It looks like he's 25 out there again. I mean, he just, he's all over the floor. He's pushing it. The, the pressure he's putting on the defense with his, uh, his push in transition is is fantastic. Your starter is in the third quarter. It looked much more spry. Yeah. What, what, what happened during the halftime? What was the, what was the message? Well, the main focus was uh, multiple efforts defensively. Um, we didn't have that in the first quarter. That's why we got off to a bad start. You know, we just weren't rotating. Um, we, were ch we were challenged you know, one shot, and then they'd get an offensive board, and somebody would be wide open, and nobody would run to the next guy. And, and the third quarter, that all changed. I thought our defensive intensity was uh, fantastic, and, uh, and that uh, gave us the lead and gave us control of the game. Did you think of playing either Draymond or Clay with three fouls when they both did step on? Obviously, uh, that was uh, Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't hesitate. Uh, you know how how I am. I, I don't hesitate to put a guy out there with three fouls. I think it's um, in many cases uh, you do more harm than good by sitting a guy because of foul trouble. You just take him out of the game and you take his rhythm away. But uh, there was no reason to put either one of them back in because our second unit was was playing so well. Can you give us a little bit of an update on KD? Uh, KD's at home and uh, resting, and uh, we'll see him tomorrow. And he's just getting treatment, and you know we will reevaluate in a few weeks. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, I know politically you're pretty strong with your point of views. Uh, you and Bob pretty much agree there. Uh, it's working with Baysmore and even Curry, they're close friends. Probably disagree politically, but how would you yourself? Uh, I mean, having a close friend and you guys maybe disagree as far as political politics go. How, how do you kind of what's your take on that? I got lots of uh, <laughs> lots of friends who disagree with uh, with me politically. That's yeah. that's uh, I got no problem with that, and it's uh, it's it's you know part of our uh, our democracy. You, you know, we get everybody can take their stance and their opinion, and we respect it, and and uh, we debate and we uh, hash things out. That's the way it should be. What are you seeing from? Um, not nothing in particular. It's just you know you go through a couple of games. You're trying to sort things out and trying to uh, you know see where you can help out, see where you can step up. So nothing the other guys did. Um, 
collectively as a unit, we try to make up for uh, Katie's presence. And uh, tonight, you know, we did a better job of that. How much are, are you embracing the next 20 games and the fact that, you know, you're, you're going to have to probably, you know, kind of go back and, and, and show everything you have in time? I mean, it's the same approach to every game. You know, you, you just your scheme is different for yourself, and you know, for me, it's just uh, trying to find my spot, trying to let it happen within the Florida game. Have good intentions with every play you make, and uh, with the weapons we have, uh, even with a guy down, you know, we're still capable of doing some good things. We just have to pay attention to the uh, details a little bit more. The room was obviously out. Steph was out of the game, and then Clay and Draymond were both in foul trouble. How, how important was that second quarter stretch where you guys kind of held the floor, got it back to 15 to 5? That was really good for us, and, and it shows our depth. And guys were ready to play. Ian Clark comes in, makes his first shot. He's in a good rhythm. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of schemes uh, over the past couple of years when they try to load up on our two guys, and uh, it's about making the right plays and uh, you know, trying to have everybody in a position to be a threat and to make a team pay for, uh, you know, paying too much attention to, you know, our great shooters. Uh, today I feel pretty good. You know, I've been feeling good this whole road trip, you know, um, honestly, you know, the whole year. Uh, going back two or three months so like I said you, you sometimes less is more for me for our team and then you know now a situation where uh, you have to switch it up a little bit and be more assertive so you know, we see if we can you know we're just trying to hold it down for KD till he gets back. 11 free throws for you tonight is that a, is that a sign of your maybe offensive regression out there when you get to the lineup? Yeah you know you, you see a lot of things um, Especially with two great shooters out there, and, and the shift of the defense, um, you know, sort of loading up, and then you want to attack it or you want to make them pay. So um, you notice some of the best six man, you know, uh, or so called scores when they come in and get to the line. So I think it's important for us to get to the line, try to get into the uh, penalty a little bit earlier uh, to get us in a you know good groove. So our first shot isn't a tough shot. How good is it to see Iguodala have a game like that, 24 points and all the things he did? <laughs> um, kind of like a flashback, uh, old Andre, you know, highlights I used to watch of him. Uh, but it's always great, you know, you know, seeing him take shots when he's open and uh, score the ball because he's very capable. Sometimes he, you know, passes up open shots. And uh, I'm glad he had a nice game tonight. Do you ever pull up highlights of his Philly days or anything like that? Or does he show you? Uh, no, I, uh, they usually come up across my timeline sometimes and I watch them. And uh, it's a complete 360 because he plays not exactly as athletic and explosive as he did back then. But I mean, that's what happens with age. But um, I'm glad he had a great game tonight. Come in particular the second quarter with you know you had a couple guys in foul trouble. Steph was out and then all bench unit kind of brought it back to five point. Oh uh, yeah, the bench brought a lot of energy. Uh, play hard on both ends of the floor. Um, it just made plays and played together. I think that was great. That brought energy to you know the stars and the guys, you know, watching, and uh, that got us going. Ready to get back home? Yeah, I'm ready to get back home. I'm tired, honestly. You've been getting a lot of minutes uh, since KD's injury. Can you talk to me about just, uh, how you're growing offensively and defensively in your first year? Oh man, just continuing to learn. Um, I wasn't playing much. But I'm one of those guys that really thinks about the game when, you know, it's going on. So I just see and watch plays and, you know, kind of put it into my own game. And uh, that's my biggest thing is just focus on my basketball IQ. So when I step on the floor, I know exactly what I need to do. How would you assess this road trip over all three? I think it was a great road trip. Uh, you know, it, under circumstances, when we started to trip off what? One and two. Okay, go down. Now you got those emotions. You got those adjustments. Uh, Matt comes in, so I'm trying to work him in, and he's done an amazing job of just fitting, making everything seamless and fitting right in. Uh, Pat moving into the starting line, up Matt in there once. A game with no sound. Um, 
the game where we go down West 17 in the first half. You know, we finished this trip off three and two under the circumstances. I think, you know, it was great. You guys came back from that deficit tonight when you play and stats on the bench. What about West 17 again? I mean, they were, they were great. And, you know, it shows, it shows a lot about the depth of this team. Uh, the professionals that we have, Ian, who hasn't been playing as much as of late, comes in to give us a huge lift. D West was great. Andre was amazing. Um, you know, and, and the beat goes on. You know, guys came in and gave us big minutes. Matt, big minutes. McAdoo. I mean, it's, you know, the list goes on and on. But the way guys stepped up and was ready and gave us a lift was huge. How much do you think Andre enjoys these throwback games to show people that, hey, what he used to do? I think, I, that's the thing. I think he can still do it a lot and often. Uh, and I think, you know, as of late, probably last eight games, I, really after the break, since the break, he's been tremendous. You know, he's been aggressive. It's all a matter of him being aggressive enough. Do you enjoy your matchup with Mustang? Absolutely. Paul's a great player. Um, you know, really got a lot of stuff to his game. Uh, tricky, you know, does a lot of things, but, you know, does a lot, you know, that to challenge you. And he's going to come at you each and every time. And so it's definitely fun. Y'all similar? Y'all see the similarities between the two? I think, you know, stretch the floor, put the ball on the floor. Um, I think there are some. Steph, how uh, how would you just kind of assess this whole road trip three and two? We obviously kept an injury and just everything that went with this road trip. It was a solid road trip. We obviously finished above 500. On finish on a, on a high note. Um, did, did show some signs of uh, some positive signs, and I think we got better as the trip went on. Uh, showed some resiliency, and got to keep it going. You guys are 23 tonight for the first time in a while. I mean, was it good to have one of those nights, really, from everyone on the roster? Yeah, I mean, everybody's got to be aggressive, shoot, shoot your shots, and live with the results. So, especially the way we got them tonight, we moved the ball really well, uh, set good screens for each other, and um, it was kind of contagious. Just once we got stops on the other end, we were able to push the tempo and uh, create a lot of good looks. How much do you think Udala enjoys one of these throwback games every once in a while to show people, you know, what he can still do? I mean, Dre is so low maintenance when you, you take for granted what he does. Um, we don't take for granted what he does, but when you watch his play, like you don't understand how important he is to, to our success. And obviously, it doesn't take a game like tonight to prove it to us, but um, you can see he had that little pep in his step. Um, shots falling, and you know he got to the free throw line, which shows his aggression, and uh, it was fun to watch. Have you seen the change in him since Kevin went out, just knowing? He's gonna have to do uh, one lineup. It's about the whole team being ready to play every single night, um, and you know, really settling into to the aggressiveness that we need from everybody who steps foot on the floor. Steph, what did you think of uh, Dennis Schroeder's first half performance out there tonight? <laughs> Uh, I mean, he made pretty much every shot he took, and it was, he he, uh, he played well, obviously. So. Steph, you tweeted one time about how excited you are that you still get to go out and play this game. Do you still feel pretty much that same excitement from when you first came into the league? For sure. I mean, obviously, it's a different uh, situation I'm in now with with, uh, with this squad, and at this point in my career. Um, when I was a rookie, just happy to be, you know, playing in the NBA and realizing the dream and just trying to get better. And now we get to play, you know, this sport for a living. And, um, just go out and play, play hard and uh, have fun. And obviously, um, settle in just with, with the confidence and knowing what I'm able to, to do um, you know, every night. Since you guys said uh, you finished over 500, what is the biggest thing that you learned on being on the road that you guys can take back home for the second half of the season? I think just how important our defense is because I mean, we, we know some nights we might make shots, some nights it might be like the Chicago game or the um, like first half in New York game. Where just, we showed it tonight in the second half. Um, what we're capable of and how we can open up a game pretty quick if we uh, take care of that half of the floor. First thing you'll do at home when you get home with your old girls. 
since you've been on the road? Uh, probably have to change the diaper. <laughs> I'll be ready though. All right, thank you, thank you. Son. Thank you. Yeah. Hip Pops is 1987.com.